Hello, Sagittarius. My name is Allison Nichols, and welcome to your August and September tarot forecast. Uh, Sagittarius, I do want to remind you this is going to be a general reading for the two months. Uh, so if you find that it doesn't resonate with you, you might want to also check out your uh, moon and rising tarot reading as well. Um, you know, perhaps there's something going on with your uh, astrological chart where that'll uh, resonate. One of those will resonate a little bit better this time. I also would like to invite you to please visit my website. Just click on the link below. Um, on that whoops, on that website, you will not only be able to book a reading with me, but uh, you can also read my uh, latest articles uh, that I have published on various uh, spiritual subjects. Uh, you could also see your astrological card of the month. Uh, I try to find beautiful and unique uh, tarot decks to introduce you to when I show you your card of the month. Um, so just click on the link below if you have any questions, comments, whatever, so you want to send me a private message, uh, send it through my website, please, and I'll be happy to respond as soon as I can. I do also want to apologize for the lighting, uh, Sagittarius. I have, I am determined to, um, do all 12 signs, uh, today so I could start uploading. Uh, so I've been doing this since, gosh, the, uh, mid-afternoon. And I'm determined to finish, so I do apologize for the lighting, but we'll work through it. All right. Um, with that being said, let's see what is going on for Sagittarius for the month of uh, August 2018 and September 2018. Now, I did um, have a card pop out, so I'm going to go ahead and use it for uh, the August card. And it is the Five of Pentacles. And we'll get into the meaning. I want to go ahead and pull for September. And then Sagittarius, we're going to layer uh, some cards for clarification as well. Okay, I guess this card wants to come out. All right, so um, let's start with uh, August. I have the Five of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Um, now, the number five in general is a, kind of a struggle um, energy about it. Um, so pretty much all the way through the deck, anything to do with fives um, are, are a bit of a struggle. Now, Pentacles has to do with career. It has to do with finances, um, uh, stability, you know, how, you know, financial, financial stability, how you're, you're feeling stable. Um, now, with the five of Pentacles, if you really look at that card, they feel like they're out in the cold, okay? Um, so it, it could be, Sagittarius, that you are having some financial difficulties that are making you feel out in the cold, or you can't join in um, with all the uh, reindeer fun because you can't afford it, so you can't, like, go out because you can't afford it. Uh, Sagittarius are very social, social beings. So um, that's so far what I'm getting, but we're going to layer it and see what the heck that's all about. So for September, I got the Queen of Cups. Now, Sagittarius, the Queen of Cups, if it is about uh, an actual person um, and an astrological sign, she actually represents the Scorpio, the female Scorpio. But it's it could be a water sign as well, which is going to be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, if it is more about the energy of a water sign, a female energy of a water sign, it is going to be patience. It is going to be um, about family values. Uh, water signs are very, very much so about family values. So there, or an older family member, um, it could even be describing that. So if it's not a person, it could be the energy of the water sign, which is what's going to be um, the focus of the month of September, but we're going to clarify that. So let me see what the heck is cooking clarification-wise with this pesky little five of pentacles. Fives are um, lesson numbers, so sometimes we need to learn this lesson perhaps um, you know, it's a lesson to learn to um, 
be a little more frugal, uh, save a little bit, uh, you know, save for a rainy day kind of thing, but we'll see what the clarification is. So we're looking for Sagittarius clarification card um, in the month of August 2018 about the five of Pentacles energy for the month of August 2018. Sagittarius. There. Ah, okay. <laughs> I do believe this is probably more of a social thing, Sag. Um, so the clarification card I got is the um, cat and mouse. So when it's straight up, the cat and mouse, I got it reversed. So when it's straight up, the cat and mouse is um, about flattery. Um, but it's also about being social, um, you know, going out, playing, whatnot. Um, but it's also about flattery. Reversed, it is um, being very unsocial, not being able to go out, do what you want, kind of just what I said, um, probably due to financial struggles. Um, but we're going to do some numerology on it as well and another clarifying card. So let me do some numerology while I am shuffling for the month of September and seeing what the Queen of Cups is all about. Um, so for stability. Um, the energy for the month of uh August Sag is um, four, which is about stability. All right. So um, you might not be feeling quite as stable in your social life as you used to or as you thought you were. Um, there again, it could be um, you're not feeling um, very stable financially, which is causing you to not be able to go out and about and um Chase, you know, even a cat and mouse, even, you know, to go out and flirt, you know, and chase, which is something Sages love to flirt. They don't even realize they're flirting, but they they always actually are. Uh, so let's see what's going on here with my Queen of Cups for the month of September for Sagittarius 2018. Clarify. Ah, okay. I got the um, broken, the shattered mirror. All right. So the shattered mirror, you know, the uh, saying about seven years of bad luck, whatever. But um, honestly, it's not really that. But Sagittarius, I feel that there's going to be some type of emotional thing happen to you that has to do within the, the home or the family, all right? Um, and it, it could be a partner, um, but, you know, where they feel emotionally, you're emotionally attached. Um, but I do feel that it's, it could even have something to do with um, the family home. Um, you know, perhaps you have to sell or, um, you know, maybe there's, an inheritance um, where you're that that you receive through a, a relative, a home that you need to repair <laughs> that is broken, um, or it could be a broken relationship, family relationship as well. So uh, let me do some numerology and also the final um, cards on this Sagittarius to try to figure out a little bit more about it. Um, seven. Yeah, okay, so the energy is seven. And uh, seven actually is uh, about family. Um, when the the energy of, of seven is about uh, family ties, um, in, in like a seven year, oftentimes it is focused. If you're having a number seven, a personal seven year, your focus is about family. 
and um, foundation building with family. So it makes perfect sense that it could have something to do with um, some family property that you inherit that you need to repair um, or selling of some family property or there's just something going on with in the home with family, possibly moving um, an older relative in with you. Um, it could be that as well. So let's just see what the heck here. So the last clarifying card for Sagittarius. Actually, too, just kind of looking at the way um, these cards are looking going into the next month before I do this last card. Um, so for the month of August, um, you know, it looks like you're a little struggling, a little financially. You, you know, can't go out, do your thing. Um, it could even be that there's a, a need for you to move back in. All right. Um, it could be that the person struggling is this person who needs to move in with you. So um, because these are facing each other in the layout when you lay them down, I believe they are um, one month is running into the next month. This month is causing this to happen for this month. So that's that's what I'm getting. Um, OK, but let's just go ahead and do this clarifying card and see what this is about, Sag. So the month of August 2018, last clarifying card for Sagittarius. The five, four, and okay. Um, let's go ahead and do. September also for Sagittarius, September 2018, last clarifying card for the, oh, okay, I got two, so we're going to go, oh, well, we're definitely going to go with them. Okay, um, two flew out, so I'm going to use them because one is actually a, uh, major arcana card. So I want to kind of pay attention to that. Um, so what I got here uh, would be this card. First. So I got the Knight of um, Wands uh, reversed. So this is actually one of your cards too, Sagittarius. So um, the Knight himself, um, he's He's coming pretty fast. He's fire. Um, Sagittarius is fire. Wands are about fire. Um, the knights are about uh, bringing news, okay, um, the actual news of it. Um, and because it's fire, it's coming fast. And and it's usually, um, it it's, could be about career. Um, it could be about, um, they're getting foundations. Uh, so anyway, the news is coming fast, um, but it's reversed. And what that's telling me is the news <laughs> that is coming fast is not necessarily good news. Um, it's not something that you're very excited to um, have going on. So it, you know, it's it is what it is kind of thing. Um, but it's a way for things to move forward. It's almost, it's a gotta do. And interestingly enough, I got the um, death card popped out. Now that doesn't mean death said. Um, it's actually a renewal, a rebirth, um, a reflection. Um, if it's straight up, those are the terms. If it's reverse, it's kind of going backwards. Um, it's refusing to um, have a rebirth, um, independence, um, possibly the inability for independence. So, uh, 
it would actually fall into play here, Sag, if an older family member needs to move back in with you, needs to move in with you, um, because of having trouble with independence. It could be you um, having trouble with independence, so you have to move back home. Um, or you have to move in with a family member or take on a roommate, perhaps. Uh, so that's what I'm getting for the overall uh, energy for uh, the month of September, Sagittarius. Okay, I hope this was insightful for you. I, I do apologize for the lighting. I hope it actually videos a whole lot better than what, I, what it appears like it might be doing. Um, so anyway, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the above. And of course, I am always, always sending loving energy your way, Sagittarius. Have a fabulous couple of months and bye-bye.